Okay guys, Wayfinder just back. So this is my home. Welcome. Not huge and uh, but I love it. So uh, I try to find always a new perspective, a new place to show. And now this is it. So we are inside my castle. And yes, I'm again in Kananara. So but what happened? So the the day day comes when I went to finally uh, the um, the service. I was really really happy before, but uh, you know something wasn't really good day checked my wheel bearings but my brake is uh, not really good i tried to fix it but they couldn't do anything and, about uh, that something happened with my brake so it's the pedal is only always soft and they just told me some bullshit that's why i decided uh, to fix it by myself so I try to do my best but my tools not good enough to do that so I had to give up and um, and I, I prayed it will be okay and to room and then I try to find the solution so anyway next day I went to fixing my boo bar and of course I had to remove this uh, and um, that was my turn uh, it wasn't too bad uh, I, I did it relatively short time and they fixed it so I'm happy with that and um, and then I went to the shop buy food and I'll be ready to go I didn't expect to uh, drive so far it was in the afternoon so I, I thought I want to reach uh, Questro which is a beautiful place and about 100 km far from Kandanara uh, where I drive I saw many nice places uh, but I had a bad feeling about my brakes so I just stopped and uh, tried to figure out what's going on I couldn't see anything so I decided I, I keep going and finally I reached uh, Can uh, Kandanara, I reached uh, Questro and it was too late um, and uh, it's getting dark so I couldn't um, walk through the path but I saw really nice but before that I had to go uh, drive through a really deep crossing you know water again I really like to avoid it because I had a lot of problem with this but that was the way after that I did to the El Cuestro station which is um, a really nice place and I spent the night there and then I realized full of water in my car so it uh, a little bit shocked me the next day I just uh, decided to keep going and before to do that I stopped to check the brake again I, and that was the time when I saw one of the boards missing and at the same time I saw another major problem because my back teeth has oil leaking so it was just full of oil on the ground I so, believe this. I was totally broke. The same process, call to RACQ, discuss about uh, the towing and yeah, the same procedure. Uh, so the time I'm just waiting for the tow and mm -hmm. hanging out with my new friend. Yeah. So finally the, the truck right. arrived and we yeah, I'm waiting the for towing. And, uh, the truck. Yeah. With my rodeo I can move back a little bit. So it's funny, maybe I have to settle down in Kandanara. Oh, that's not my 
perfect place, so that's impossible. Just I'm joking. But uh, if still it has the same, it means always have trouble with my car and I run out of my money. And we drove back to Kananara. Uh, it was uh, this this drive was a little bit uh, scary, so. The driver was really fast and uh, fearless and uh, yeah, sometimes I was a little bit uh, worried about uh, what's going on on the road uh, but um, yeah, finally we reached uh, Kandanara. We talked a little bit uh, on the way and uh, the guy just said he's driving uh, I, as a truck driver for uh, 22 years and uh, he told me he has lots of lots of um, job uh, one two at least uh, per day in a season which is seven months and um, and off season he had a lot of things to do especially fixing the truck so we just uh, reached Kandanara and I was lucky because I got a uh, uh, time on Monday to check my car so I just went to different park in in the center which is much better to me and uh, I decided to explore better Kandanara because I have time so I decided today I'm going to um, a short trip around uh, Kandanara this is the center of the city the coast Cafe shop, some some other shops and tourist information, police office. Somewhere is a hospital or something. So almost this is it. It's nice. So I just want to show the camera system which uh, is on the street these are everywhere so I think that's the necessary thing to keep safe so I, I just uh, met a couple of local girls and we had a short chat uh, I think they want something uh, to me, you know, some Look around, so see you guys. Stuff. So I, that's why I left uh, immediately and uh, keep going. I hike up to a place which is um, a local uh, lookout. Yes, and uh, that was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that, but it was pretty, pretty hot. After that, I went to uh, art center which is uh, you know I, I'm really amazed uh, Aboriginal uh, culture and art so that was the place but I was a little bit shocked because uh, it was um, a little bit expensive so the place called here like a mini bangle bangles and um, yeah I had the chance to go there and uh, and make some drone footage otherwise it's uh, not allowed because the uh, the airport here but I did some pretty good uh, shot there
I think this is amazing and uh, I love that so much so I'm here and already fixed uh, fixed the, the seal and in my diff but I'm still have to waiting for my front brake because I don't want to take more rigs I don't want to stack again so I have totally no idea one will be uh, solve this uh, problem so finger cross hopefully soon I really want to leave you know I'm here more than four weeks that's too much but next week we'll see what happened <laughs>